Welcome to Steve's Hydroponics. It all started in the Controlled Environmental Agriculture Program at Cornell University. Nearly 20 years ago, NYSERDA, which is the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, were thinking along the lines of peak oil, of the time when oil prices would become very high. And the goal was how do we make sure that we can have fresh vegetables in New York State when transporting them from California or Mexico becomes a problem because of the high cost and unavailability of diesel fuel. A change was in the making. At the same time, we were working with growing systems for what are called plug production, which are these little tiny plants that are then transplanted into vegetable packs. And we had taken the production time, which at that point was 30, 35 days from seed to a viable plug, and dropped that to 15, cut it in half. Then they moved on to improve their system. So we did research, about five or six years of research on different aspects of plant production, looking at light effects, looking at temperature, looking at nutrients, all of these things, and came up with a system that seemed to be able to grow lettuce in 35 days from seed to harvest every day of the year. The system is based on a growing method called hydroponics. The definition is simple. Basically, if you're talking about hydroponics, you're talking about growing plants without natural soil. After years of hard work, this project became a local production. At an advisory board meeting, we we're kind of wrapping up this project, and the advisory board said, well, let's do this for real. So we formed a partnership with Agway, and Agway was a large East Coast cooperative at that time. And a variety of sources funded the work to build the Finger Lakes Fresh Greenhouse and to operate it, implementing the different kinds of technologies and protocols that we had established. Their partnership with Challenge developed several years later. Challenge was, was founded by a number of families who had family members with disabilities. Those people were, at that time, were excluded from the workforce. So these families organized and created Challenge in order to provide employment opportunities for their family members. When Cornell's research was done, we uh, negotiated with Cornell to take the facility over and make it a commercial operation. My life has been so difficult in the past, and this job, what I found, is so aggressive to leave, because I can come in to work, and whatever, um, whatever out in the real world, every single time I come in here, I focus and get the job done, and I know after the end of the day, I walk out, it's going to be a new me. Even though the premise of growing lettuce may seem as simple as planting a seed in the ground, a hydroponic greenhouse is a different story. So we like to say it's, uh, it's like Groundhog Day here. It, every day is the same. And we do that through a lot of mechanical systems that are controlled by a computer. One of the things that we're really concerned with is light. Without light, plants don't grow. And we have a system where we want the plants to grow the same amount every day because we seed every day and we harvest every day and those plants have to be the same size. So we built this greenhouse out of glass. So we're trying to get as much natural light as we possibly can so that we can leave these artificial lights off as much as possible because we don't want to pay for them. As we continue to work our way down, you can see lots of these paddle fans that are turning out here. And the idea of that is to mix all this air up so that it's all the same temperature, all in the greenhouse, and also the same humidity. It can get too humid right in the part where they're growing the fastest. So we blow down into them, and that gives all the plants the same environment. Behind you here, we have big exhaust fans. They're like jet engines when they go. They blow air out of the greenhouse, and air is replaced from, from this back wall, which allows us to keep it about 75 degrees in here summer and winter. And that's, in a nutshell, that's, that's what happens here, and it's the same every day. Here at the Finger Lakes Fresh Greenhouse, the lettuce is packaged, put onto trucks, and driven to a number of local grocery stores in the central New York area, <laughs> including here at the Green Planet Grocery Store, where the employees strongly support the movement to buy local. We received our order from Finger Lakes Family Farms, and they were the ones who deliver the produce from Finger Lake Fresh and we got our shipment in yesterday. They come once a week, usually about noon. And we have been ordering approximately three cases, sometimes four cases a week from Finger Lakes. 
and each case has about six products in it. So either six of the Boston lettuce, six of the romaine. Um, we also have the basil, but it looks like we actually sold out of the basil. Due to the struggling economy in America, Finger Lakes fresh lettuce is a smart buy for many reasons. Other places, I'm sure, have been having the same experience where people are are really desiring to know where their food is coming from and, and preferring it if it is local, keep the money closer to home. A lot of people throw out produce. Some people have rotting carrots, rotting lettuce, they don't get through it all. And the nice thing about the root systems is it keeps the lettuce fresher for a lot longer, so you can keep this in your fridge for a good week, sometimes even up to a week and a half without you know it going all wilty and starting to rot. You know, even if you just calculated the money you might save from your lettuce staying fresh, that might be enough to uh, make it equal to buying a package of iceberg lettuce from another store or something. So right now, any of the uh, lettuce with the root system is priced at $2.19. We probably sell about, uh, I'd say about 36 pieces of those a week. Uh, people come in looking for local products. They come here and say, well, I couldn't find this somewhere else, but I heard you guys had it. If we don't sell it, um, you know, by the time the next shipment comes on, sometimes we'll put it on like an extra special bonus deal where it's really inexpensive and someone can just buy it for a dollar or so. Um, but usually we actually run out, so it hasn't really been too much of a problem. Okay. <laughs> we do have a lot of great products that are being made in Central New York. Having stores like ours that can actually buy them from the people making them and, and then sell them to consumers. From concept to distribution, Finger Lakes Fresh manages to weather the cold storm of economic failure. However, the welcoming environment is warm, 24 hours a day, all year round, inside this successful local hydroponic greenhouse. Visit Steve's Hydroponics today at www.steveshydroponics.ca.